The common names for Xanthoria sp is grass tree, bulgur, or black boy. The grass tree's thatch is highly flammable, and in a bushfire, the tightly packed leaf bases shield the stem from heat and allow grass trees to survive the passage of fire. Grass trees can recover quickly after a fire due to the reserves of starch stored in their stems. The flowering of grass trees is not dependent on fire, however, it can stimulate the process. Without fire, grass trees may take several years to flower. Wildfires have the potential to kill older grass trees due to the high intensity exposure of heat and flames. If grass trees are burnt more often, when the thatch is small and the fire brief, they flower and seed profusely. The protective mantle remains intact. The green top remains largely unburnt. Nutrients in the thatch are recycled and soil pH around the base is raised. Burning of grass trees and surrounding leaf litter can be undertaken as a low intensity cool burn, which will significantly reduce the fuel load and risk of high intensity wildfire. Evidence of old fire marks from grass tree stems suggests that the Noongars burnt the Jarrah forest every three to four years and Mary forest every two to three years because the Mary produces more litter. Identifying the fuel age of a grass tree can be done a few ways. Option one. If you measure the dead thatch under a grass tree using your hand, one hand equals approximately five years of growth. A grass tree thatch fire lasts as long in minutes as it has been unburnt in years. A three-year-old hatch will flare for only a few minutes, doing little damage to the green crown. A 30-year-old thatch will burn for half an hour or more, reaching an incandescent thousand degrees Celsius. Few living things can stand that exposure. If grass trees are burnt in winter directly after rainfall when the soil is saturated, it is very unlikely that fire will be able to travel along the ground in leaf litter and will remain isolated to the grass tree. This assists in conducting a very low risk burn with minimal risk of escape. If there is heavy thatch, consider removing most of the thatch with a set of hedge trimmers or a chainsaw before you burn. Otherwise, the fire may be so hot it will kill the grass tree. The loose thatch can be spread and burnt separately. The ash will sweeten the soil and the smoke will germinate native seeds. Fire is the only natural way a grass tree can shed thatch and recycle the nutrients. If grass trees are excluded from fire, older grass trees will fall over and break from the weight of the thatch combined with decay and termite attack. Before you start, safety considerations to be addressed. Burning grass trees creates large amounts of radiant heat. Grass trees right next to houses and sheds or directly under telephone or power lines cannot be burnt safely. So clipping using a hedge trimmer or chainsaw is the best option. Prior to burning, always check the local government requirements. Warn your neighbours prior to burning so they can close windows and remove washing. Always have able-bodied people available to assist and have a garden hose ready. Burn one grass tree at a time if you are inexperienced or not confident. If you are not confident and do not feel as though you can do this yourself, contact your local volunteer fire brigade who may be able to assist. Ensure wind speed is between 5 km and 15 km an hour. This will allow smoke to disperse. Wear appropriate clothing, long pants long sleeve cotton shirt, enclosed boots, and gloves. How to burn. Before lighting individual grass trees, it is important to understand there is a right and wrong way. Right way. Grass trees should be lit from the top of the dead thatch on the downwind side of the grass tree. Only use a single ignition point on each grass tree. This will make the grass tree burn less intensely and have a longer, cooler burn time. When the grass tree is burning, try to avoid the use of water and let the grass tree burn. The fire will burn out after a period of time, depending on the fuel age of the grass tree. When all the flames have disappeared, let the grass tree smoulder. This smouldering is still burning and removing dead thatch from the grass tree. When the smouldering has finished, the grass tree can be damped down using a hose. Research has shown that burning grass trees every three to four years keeps the grass tree healthy, and reduces overall fuel loads.
Fire is the only natural way a grass tree can shed thatch and recycle the nutrients.